What do you think would get high schoolers more interested in school? Punishment for missing class or recess? We'll talk more about that question later, but first let me clarify some of the confusion around a new Iowa law that has added another step in the punitive process for frequently absent students. Senate File 2435 defined chronic absenteeism as student absence from school for over 10% of the time in a school's grading period. It also established that if a student reaches chronic absenteeism, the school will send a letter to their parent or guardian and notify the county attorney. Where people are getting confused is what absences count toward that total, and the answer is all of them, with some exemptions. The law does not differentiate between excused and unexcused absences, but it does list a few situations in which a student's absence will not count toward their total, listed here. Some things to note. The Iowa Department of Education reported that students who are learning English, come from low-income families, have disabilities, or students of color miss school at higher rates. And reporting by the Associated Press found that mental health struggles, illness, bullying, working a job, or caregiving, and general disinterest in school are causing students to miss so much. So is another punitive measure really addressing the root cause of low attendance? Some schools are taking a more creative approach. One Massachusetts high school principal offered a recess during lunch if students attended all their classes and it cut the school's share of chronically absent students by 12 percent. In Oakland, California, the school asked students what would get them to attend school. The students, primarily from low-income households, said money and a mentor. So the district started paying kids with perfect attendance $50 a week and had them check in with an adult daily. 60 percent improved their attendance. At a Fresno middle school where half the students were chronically absent, students missed because of dirty laundry and not having access to transportation. The school bought a wash and dryer for families to use and an SUV to pick up students who missed the bus. Chronic absenteeism improved to 35%. The point is, if students are missing school because they don't have the proper resources to support their educational experience, why not ensure that schools can provide those resources? Better yet, why not write legislation that actually supports working class families rather than harms them? Why not ask students why they miss school and directly address those reasons rather than wait until they're already missing school to help them? What we can learn from the post-pandemic era of low school attendance is that our most vulnerable population faces a whole new set of problems exacerbated by the pandemic. So what we need is new solutions, not punishments. 